Welcome everyone to Six Days in Fallujah. Today we are jumping into the campaign for the first time. This game has been out for a little over a year now, but just got the first two campaign missions and a few new procedurally generated missions. I was provided a key to check this out, but it's a game I've been looking forward to to jump it into for a little bit now. We are going to do the training first so that way I can get a feel for everything since I haven't played before. And then after that, we'll jump into the first campaign. So let's get right into it. All right, we got buddy pairs. Of course, got to have a battle buddy. We're loading into it right now. Probably the last game I played similar to this or hopefully similar to this was Ready or Not. And I was a huge Ready or Not fan for quite a while. So shoot down the targets in the house. Let's see, we got the uh, sensitivities of pretty high right now so i'm gonna go ahead and bump that down get it down to like 70 percent might be even still too high but let's see still a little high bump it down some more okay let's go 50 you actually can't go any lower than 50 and hold on just saw that Aim is on that. Let's go with toggle and toggle. Perfect. All right, shoot down the targets in the house. Open door. Left shift, tap F to kick the door. Oh my God, that's loud. X to toggle the flashlight. Mouse wheel up while, while aiming to uh, scroll through sights. Ah, okay. All right, wait, that's actually kind of cool, though. We got them all. Complex is secure. Wow, that's it. Hey, these on site rally up to reinforce. Reinforcements available. Hold left alt to open the sat map and locate the HAV. Return to the AAV to gather reinforcements. So we're headed over there. Reinforcements available. All right, let's get out there. So far, game's running pretty good. Like I said, this game is still in early access, so I know it's obviously it's not a complete pro product or anything like that, but I'm running and feeling good so far. Ready, fire, assist. App C to order watch. Watch north. Contact, rooftop. That's it. Complex is clear. Okay, order Marines to engage targets on the house. In the Western house. Their enemy is in the Western house. Got it. Do it with me. Tap left alt to check the HUD. Okay, so we're going over to this one down here. Let's see. Giant marker above it in the sky. Okay. Looks like we can just go. Kick the door. Alright, let's get in there. Sheesh. So loud. This is one of the, one of the things that they added was the uh, the AI. Which I've heard that they're not the greatest, but they're okay. Still have my flashlight on. All right, get in there. Hey, get over here. Out of the way. I'm reloading. All right, come on, come on, guys. Come on. They're doing a pretty good job, though, Friendly of taking area. them out. Get you. Clear. 
Totally flagging everybody, though, which is fine. Not fine, but, you know. I might have turned the sensitivity down too much. Anything. All right, I think we're clear up here. Must be downstairs. Secure the balcony. Okay, so C yeah, orders them specifically to go to an Come area and watch Aye, it. Copy. That's the last of them. Okay, pressing and holding C will return to formation. Clear enemies in the eastern house. So I think we got them all there. We're headed back out. And tap C to move. Eyes on the street. Here I go. Hold left shift and tap C to order the move. All right, southeast, let's go. All right, so we need to get all the way down there. Look east. Copy that. I'm on it. Face northeast. Roger that. Short thing. Okay. Back up here. All right, let's see. Face north. We have them just gather up behind me. I keep going to, uh, yeah, I should probably just change it so that way it's aiming down the scope rather than. Face northeast. On it like it's cool. The iron sights like that. Okay, so do we have a way to actually initiate them to, to get in there? Oh, kick the door. Okay, let's try again. And again. Clear. Nope. Okay, so once I open the door, they start moving in. Watch out, Who All right, move in, move in. This room clear. Do not engage civilian. Where was the civilian target? Down here? Okay, we're good, we're good. Hold on. They missed two right there. There's something beeping. They're there. Move back this way. It'd be interesting actually adapting to one of the more actual situations where we're... that's a civilian. Okay, well, now we found out. Enemies in that room. My brother. My brother. All right, you can already tell this is going to go great. <laughs> Clear the building of weapon caches. Is that inside of this one still? 
Search the building, secure any hidden weapon caches inside. Okay, so that every time you press and hold Alt, you can always see what your current objective is. See, this is why we have training. So uh, we can actually learn and get a feel. I hear it. Oh, so you can actually vault over. Disarm weapon cache. We're good in here. Complex is secure. Copy. Good work, second squad. Move to the rally point. Oscar Mike. We've got a rally to get to, Marines. Let's move. All right. Let's get out of here. Gather team at the rally point. We need to move southwest. Let's push to the southwest. Hey, get over here. Yeah, I feel like I'd rather have them just form up with me. And then when we go in, obviously I'll I'll open the door or I don't think I don't know if there's a way to actually tell them to open the door for you just yet. It seems like the command commands right now are very limited, so we'll see. Mission successful. Not bad. Not terrible. I mean, it was training, right? So time to actually see what it's like in the full campaign mission. Vigilant Resolve, a division of U.S. Marines, is ordered to secure the city of Fallujah after a deadly attack by insurgents. May 1st, 20, 2004. It's our mission. The ready does not respond to orders. Instead, the ready stays with you, providing security and support. Okay, that's good to know. So they're my battle buddy. And then the assist and the other guy go in. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's see how this one goes. I saw that there's a little bit of cinematics to this. I was debating on streaming this, but wasn't sure how long the first mission actually is. So that's where we're, uh, we're just recording instead. And then maybe I'll, I'll do a series of the other procedural missions as well, since it seems like there's a good amount. There's your warning. Part one. The beginning of ISIS. The invasion of Iraq began with shock and awe. Within weeks, Saddam Hussein was defeated. The Iraqi army was disbanded, and out of the chaos that followed, an insurgency was born. The center of this insurgency was a 2,000-year-old city on the Euphrates called Fallujah. Fallujah is just down the road from Baghdad, and so it's community where a lot of the generals live, and with Baghdad being in disarray, Fallujah was just going nuts. And it turned into just a hornet's nest. On March 31st, 2004, a convoy of Iraqi civilians carrying kitchen equipment took a wrong turn onto Highway 10, the main road through the center of Fallujah. The convoy was being protected by four United States military veterans. I'm about to cross over the Green Trestle Bridge when they were attacked by gunmen, shot, burned, dismembered bodies and body parts hung from the Green Trestle. Reaction was insane. People were very upset across the country. Very, very upset. Demanded some action to be taken. Demanded it. Within days, the U.S. government orders thousands of Marines into Fallujah to neutralize militants hiding among the city's 300,000 residents. The battle had begun. Ceasefire again. 
Complex is cordoned off, and Hire just cleared us to respond with force. Prepare to engage. Three o'clock. Guy with the cell phone. What is this? They got a last of the Stay sharp. Shit, man, I don't like this. We gotta move. Let's go. Shut the fuck up, man. You're stressing me out. I don't want to have to shoot these dudes. Oh, boy. Here we go. Warhammer 2, first squad's on objective. Roger, first squad. Insurgents are using that first building as a storehouse for weapons. Clear it out. Roger. You got civilians all over the place, first squad. Watch your fire. Understood, Warhammer 2. Bravo team, Alpha's assault. Ready, assist, and fire. Okay. Bravo set. Secure the designated buildings. All right, so we got this one right here. And then, Can't can we see. actually... Oh, okay. Let's see how this goes. It definitely feels like the watch. stakes are high. To focus oh. your team on a specific threat area, issue a watch go command. Your fire team will quickly engage any hostiles Come that on. appear in that area. By default, your teammates will constantly scan your surroundings for threats. Okay. All right, so there's actually another more in-depth tutorial. In the first one. On the roof? That's just a civilian. Off to a great start. You're with me. Copy. All right, let's get inside there. Watch the stairs. Here I go. Shoot it. It said command move. Holy Sure thing. Okay, open the door. Cover the staircase. Got me that. Nope. Come on, boys, on me. Hold. Yeah. Command Marine, open door. I'm pressing. Follow let's me. see if we do press and hold. See. Eyes on the staircase. I'm on it. Uh. Okay, we're off to a great start here. All right, Fire screw it. Up. I'll open it. Roger that. Oh, wait. Okay, I see, I see. Come on, boys, so me. instead, you just press F like cool. from afar. You don't actually... Yeah, 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 I got it. Alpha's on objective one. Copy, Alpha. Get up there. And keep an eye out for weapon caches. In cabinets, refrigerators, on a table the bed could be anywhere. I should not be going in first. Tell me, what are you doing? We got a door. Hey, this is me. Coming out. Keep your feet down. Fire team up. All right. Good to go on the Nobody in that corner. Open fire! Get it! Copy that! Coming out! Jeez. Okay, you don't need to actually just. Sure thing! Watch it, he's in the room! Oh, I see it. All 
All right, I'm moving in. Whether it's a good or bad idea. We got stairs. Bravo team, this one's clear. We'll move to provide overwatch. Copy that, Alpha. Radio when you're in position. Okay, first one's clear. Secure the roof. Move out there. All right, yeah. So you just tap bitches? F instead. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think you're. <laughs> Rooftop clear. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Jeez. One on the rooftop. Reloading. I'm pressing R to reload. Hello. Bravo team, Alpha's in position, but that second building is hot. Roger, Alpha, keep us covered. Bravo moving. Move. C4 set, stay back. Third building. All right, gentlemen, get out here. Get out here. Roof's open. We're moving. Hold the roof and cover the courtyard. Target's in that building. Is that Yuri? Fire superiority. Use the suppress go command to overwhelm a position with sustained fire. Gaining fire superiority oh. reduces enemy fire. It enables your team to maneuver more freely. Okay, I see. So you have to be aiming and then you tap suppress. Moving to assault the final target. Right there, suppress. Secure the final compound. All right, warm up. I think we have to get down, get back down there. Yeah, there's part of me that that actually kind of likes this. That way, it gives you more free reign of how much you can actually see. Man, are they coming from the other side now, too? I feel like they're flagging me just as much. Right, let's try getting out here. He opened the door towards him rather than out. I guess... I mean, I guess if it gives you the option, you might as well pull it towards you. All right, now the question is, how do we actually get over there? Through here. Holy shit! They got a fucking bitch in town! Shit! Okay. That's not good. Kill zones. Open areas are deadly in urban combat. Always move from cover to cover and avoid entering kill zones. Bravo, you got an angle on him? Breach! 
Get that door open. Break it down. Go, go, go. Oh shit. Oh. Bravo's been hit. We lost contact. Assist? Understood. Are they all Cast dead? Back on the way. Stay on task. They're all dead. In the window, contact! Don't worry, it's only the first mission. And the first tent attempt on the first mission, that is. Follow me. Yeah. So we need to get across here. We need to get actually inside there. Vault over. Secure the basket. Alpha teams entering final objective now. Contact, contact. He's right outside this door. Stayed. Jeez. I got you, brother. You're gonna be fine. This is an absolute mess right now. All right, we're moving in. So many hallways. There's, it's impossible to be a hundred percent coverage here. There's stairs. There's hallways. There's. Oh my god. Thing I didn't open fire there. Are the building of weapon caches? Okay, that would be in this one. Blank the fixed gun emplacement. Hallway clear. Okay. Definitely feel the high stakes right now. All right, open it up. Open it up all the way. The it's like straight. Shit, they're bugging out. Pursue escaping insurgents in the back street. I didn't shoot a civilian. That's a civilian. Check fire. My brother. Oh. 
Vigilant Resolve campaign mission. I shot some. I shot somebody with a gun, and then it told me to don't shoot. But I, I didn't shoot anyone else. Squad on me. We're pulling back. We're what? On me. Let's go. Wait, so what's going on now? Why are we backing off? No fucking clue. Probably some political bullshit. What's the point of making us do all that? This fucking bullshit! Fuck! And our top story out of Fallujah, Iraq tonight. The United States Marines are withdrawing from the city as the newly formed Fallujah Brigade officially assumes responsibility for security within the city's borders. I think people got what they asked for, but they didn't know what they were asking for. We want vengeance right now. Go get those bad guys who killed our boys, right? But as you started to actually see what it meant to conduct an urban assault, I think a lot of people realized just how horrible war was going to be, and they wanted out of it immediately. Coalition forces have initiated a unilateral suspension of offensive operations in Fallujah. We were going to win the battle, uh, but to have politics come in there after taking those casualties and losing guys that I know personally, it's infuriating. Al-Qaeda announced it as a victory. We winning and dominate. That was the message. And we could defeat the US forces in Fallujah, and we can defeat them through Iraq. Unfortunately, within days of the Marines leaving, Al-Qaeda and Iraq are taking control of the entire city of Fallujah. Really puts things into perspective with this style of uh, of mission. You know, you can play a Call of Duty game, and yes, there's there's things that try to make it as realistic as pro possible. And of course, this isn't a one for one, but they're still trying their best to retell it. It is crazy, it's wild. All right, mission successful. Vigilant resolve. Get back to the timeline. So it's a fairly short mission. It took like 20, 25 minutes or so. I think we'll be able to jump into the, the next one, it looks like. So full mission, you have intro, raiding the safe house. Okay, so you can actually like replay the entire thing. Then next would be a video and then another mission. Looks like it unlocked. All right, let's see what we got here. Over the summer of 2004, extremists take control of Fallujah, murdering outsiders and countrymen alike. Coalition factions agree that something must be done to quell the bloodshed. See? Iraq today harbors a deadly terrorist network headed by Abu Musab al zakawi an associate and collaborator of Osama bin Laden and his Al-Qaeda lieutenants. Within weeks of the Marines' withdrawal from Fallujah, it became clear. The coalition had surrendered one of Iraq's most important cities to one of the world's deadliest terrorists. al uh, mission in 2004 in Fallujah was real simple. It was establish a worldwide caliphate based on his particular brand of religion. The violence that Zarqawi preached was so appealing that people would come from all over the world to do the most horrendous and brutal things to people. They want to torture you. They want to make your family suffer. They want to feed you. They will do so many things before they finish your life. It was a daily scene when you go out and see bodies dumped in the trash. 
There were Iraqis, of course, in the insurgency, but there was a lot of foreigners coming from all over the Arab world, even from non-Arab countries, even from the United States, from France, Europe. It had to be stopped or the country will turn over to Al-Qaeda. In October of 2004, Iraq's prime minister ordered civilians out of Fallujah. So Iraqi and coalition forces could retake the city. We are determined to clean Fallujah from terrorists. 90% of civilians left the city, while thousands of insurgents turned Fallujah into a fortress. Operation Al Fajir. The Second Battle of Fallujah begins. Marines from 3 1 Lima carry out their part of the massive assault, advancing south to secure a foothold deeper in the city. Did Star Mission? Oh, my mouse is missing. I can't see anything. Yeah, my mouse is literally missing. There we go. Now I can see it. Yeah, a little bit of bugs here. I know this game's been in development for a very long time, but like I said, early access, so over time it should get those uh, that support that hopefully it needs. I saw that they're looking for a fall 2025 launch, so maybe around then we'll do a full stream or, or something along those lines, or may maybe it'll just be a recording. We'll see. Really interesting, though watching it and seeing all the uh the battles actually play out and then getting some context beforehand and after the mission after your hit stay yeah it's int so you stay in cover and then it automatically checks for wounds be sure to move to the safe position first your teammates will provide aid automatically if you're incapacitated so they they do pick you back up The night before the battle, slept in a hole in the desert uh, about three miles north of the city. And I say slept because none of us slept, didn't sleep one second. What you kept seeing was here and there almost flickering like fireflies or guys checking their luminescent watches. And you would just see it, and then I got checking, checking. When you can just look around and see like miles of men and machines get ready to try and take the city, you knew that it was going to be big. Early in the morning of November 9th, six battalions of American and Iraqi forces assembled along the northern edge of Fallujah. Their mission will be to clear every insurgent out of every one of Fallujah's 50,000 buildings so only Fallujah residents can return. It was pitch black that night pitch black because they did the attack on uh, no moon, no illumination at all. And you could hear them from the mosque shouting to each other, let them come in, let them come in, you know, never run, never show them that you're afraid. All of a sudden, we had Humvees blasting ACDC, and we're like, let's go in, let's get it over with, let's go home. It's not a general's war. It's a war that's fought by the corporals and the sergeants and the non-commissioned officers taking charge of their fire teams and their squads. I knew this was an Al-Qaeda thing, this was a foreign fighter thing. I knew this was a, whoever the hell wanted to fight us in the whole world was coming to Fallujah. You're about to walk through fire, the hottest trial by fire of your lives. But I know each and every one of you standing here breathes fire. Master your fear. You will not yield, not even to yourself, and we will all come home together. Hoorah! Boom, boom, let's go! Shit, I can't believe we're going for real. What the Now. 
target is due south of your position. What the heck? Hello? My mouse is stuck in the game. Alright, hold on, let me see. See if I can click out. I clicked out the game, back in. Nope. Oh, you can also see the go commands here. Right click is suppress, move, hold C is form up. Look at a door and left shift C stack up. Ah, okay. Let me see if I can get... There we go. Alright. Try went going through the settings and everything, but... Closing it out, opening again, Copy seemed to do it. Lead AAV Gator into city. Leading it. Uh -oh. We got a scope this time. Okay. fire, but that's fine. What am I... Oh, there's more fire. Flashlight on. Clear up here. Alright, let me drop down. Ouch. I didn't expect that to hurt just dropping down right there. Hey, this is the uh 45 minute call out if you are still watching and you haven't already liked the stream a like would really or the video <laughs> a like would really help let me know what your thoughts are on this do you like this style of uh maneuver oh send your fire element to a specific position issue a move go command by default your teammates follow where you lead I guess I should move them up a little bit further. Just trying to play it very safe here. Clear the designated structure. Alright, it's right there. Let's have them form up on me.
But yeah, do you prefer something like this over something like a Call of Duty or like a Ready or Not? That's more fictional, but still grounded in some ways. Or do you think a documentary like this would be cool to see for more historic events? Staged breach. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Issue a move go command on the closed door. Nice. And your team will stack up and wait for your signal. So it's still giving me the tutorial actually through the campaign. That's good. Uh, I like that. When ready, look toward the door to order them to breach. Your fire element will flood the room. There we go. That's what I've been waiting or trying to figure out how you can do that. We got some more people in here. This room clear. Check the roof. I can't see it moving. My brother, you're looking the wrong way. Do not stand. Okay, stand up. Whoa. Terrible area. I need a first aid though. Cover me. Yeah, the AI here needs a little bit of work. I think that's the biggest issue. Especially when you're used to something like, I know completely different devs and everything, but ready or not, AI for clearing buildings and everything has gotten massively better over the years. So hopefully they're able to kind of figure that out before full release. All right, so we're moving forward again. See somebody stick their head out behind him. Room's clear. I hear movement. Okay. I'm moving. I'm holding shift and C. They got weapons up there. Weapon cache. Need security on that roof. We're constantly walking around very, very slowly. I don't see any weapon cache on the uh, the side there. All right, let's get back down. Not on the shelves or anything. How do 
do we do to stack up? Look at the door, left shift, and C. I guess it's only a closed door. Actually great. Protect me. Fires aid. Clear this real quick. You good? Oh no, the assist is down. On me, on me. two of them. Clear. Clear the designated structure. Alright, we're going out here. Stack up. How are we doing on ammo? Reload. We can open and move. So now the ready will help clear as well. Always clear. What the hell is that? They stack up. Get in there. Command fire. Check the interior. Move it. I'm moving. Clear the interior. Move it out. Stick with me. Going up the steps. Somewhere. 
somewhere in that next building. Sometimes they're really just trying to get in there. And they don't take it as slow as you want them. Gentlemen, grab those. The basement down there. Boy. anything over here no, just a bunch of tools it seems like you can't actually order them to stack up while you're inside of a house it's a little rough stairs. Alright, all in on me. I'll take lead again. There's the flag that we need to grab. Where are we going? Okay, there's weapon stash. I like that they call that. Oh, there's a hole in. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Wait. Okay. Go back again. We're lucky as of right now, there's no traps in here. Because that would make every single one of these doors, by like clearing them, an absolute pain. The amount of times I've set off a trap hit <laughs> ready or not after checking underneath the door. Alright, now that we know that that's there. Yeah, here's the weapon cache. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for those. Alright, let's grab this banner. Two, first squad, frag house 
is secure. We're moving on. Negative first squad. Rally on Gator and stand by. Return to the Gator. Uh, yes, sir. Roger that. Move to Gator. Drop it down. Alright, let's get over to him. Oh, we can also get reinforcements. Every time we would go into one of those buildings, you never know what to expect. And as soon as yeah, I walk be in, terrifying. I see a machine gun right in front of my face, maybe 10 feet, 15 feet from me, right in front of my face. Going first and playing Russian roulette every day is not good for your mind, you know? The way I did it with my Marines is like, you know, the person who goes in first is never wrong. They have the most to fear. The only way you can clear a city is you have to search every house, you have to search every room, and you have to root out every insurgent. We're doing our methodical house clearing work, and that call comes with the radio. You hear them we're attacking, we're a block away. And you just think, oh, like, please let that be outgoing. Okay. Where is it at? Oh no, it's doing it again. Why is that mouse doing that? All I did was press and hold shift. All right, not shift, but alt. And now all of a sudden this pops up. Okay, let's see if I can fix that again. Okay, we are back once again. Sorry, I had to uh, go ahead and close out the game and reopen it. I tried reloading the mission, but that didn't fix it. Okay, locate and destroy the mortar emplacement. Can we see where it's coming from? Oh, just got hit. Okay, it's for sure coming over from over there. You can see it. There a smoke out. getting shot from the right too. I knew it. I knew it. I was just trying to be risky there. Bad idea. Alright, check for wounds. First aid kit. Alright, let's get in here.
we're moving quick. All my clear. Moving out. Moving. I can't see. Get in there. another door <laughs> down here where at gentlemen point them out point them out there not there they're not inside there where is this weapon stash that they speak of nothing under here I think there's they're seeing things because I do not see any type of weapon stash pots and pans Unless if they're talking about the hallway, is there anything in the hallway? No. There is a weapon, but that's not considered a weapon to dash. All right, I, I don't see it in there, so I'm just gonna keep moving. A weapon. Oh, I'm moving. Moving. And I have that move up there. Okay, so that's how you get them to actually do it. Alright, so the mortars are over in the next building over. So that time, instead of pressing F, it told me to press C again to actually initiate. Alright, form up. Go over to that next building. So dark. We got fucking weapons and shit in here. This room is insanely dark. Shoot. I'm down. Oh, I'm dead. 
man oh my god that hallway there is gonna be in getting up there is gonna be insane if a fire team leader is lost in combat the next marine in the chain of command takes charge oh, where's the gator at pull out pull out pull out I know the gator is around the corner. Oh, come on, move, move, move. move, move, move. Two rounds left. Wait, isn't it out here? No, it's on the other side. terrible this is a horrible position to be in right now the only one left alive running out in the open like this there's the gator come on give me reinforcements reinforcements that's what we need three men come on out oh thank god Okay, so that's actually kind of cool that that you can get reinforcements like that. All right, now we know this building right here. And also, I like the fact that it just changes like whenever you're the uh, you go down, whoever is next up in command takes control Fire, up. Doing it. oh where 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 I can't see okay take cover okay there's stairs right here oh thank god I thought our only way up was going to be going through there. So there was a weapon stash right here. Without the flashlight, you would not be able to see anything. Okay, so it can just be one weapon. But it's like a pre... I think it's like a pre-existing weapon. It's good to know it's not just a simple mission failure when you go down now it's like you take control of the next member i kind of wish ready or not did do that personally instead of just like if you go down then every like the entire mission is forfeit okay here we go Squad, we've located the mortar team. Rooftop 
Roger, take him down. Knock him down. This game is co-op too, which is kind of cool. They could actually play with other players. I'm run out here running in the open. It's not a good idea. Oh, I'm down. Oh, I should have kept moving. I was just trying to get out of there. All right, let's move. Let's just move again. Just get to the gator. There's still more, it doesn't end. I was ready for it to end that last time. Please tell me that's friendly. That was a lot of screen shake right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of screen shake. Go to this building. Back up. Nice, because there's actually a door. Get in there, move, move, move. This is the enemy we're facing here. They're vicious, they have a lot of tenacity, and they're a lot smarter than we think. And so for me, it was kind of a reality check. This is what this battle is gonna be like. 
men like Sarkari and Bin Laden, they, want, they, they don't care if they have to destroy everything to get what they want. If he wasn't stopped, why wouldn't a guy like Al Zakari continue? Ask yourself that. You know, in the first two days, we were not even into like the main battle of it. First two days was just like an appetizer for what was going to happen. It just kicked us in the balls and realized that, you know, we're not superhuman here, but we're actually getting killed. Everything kind of hits home after, after you've seen somebody die. And when you're sitting there and it, it's quiet and you're sitting there by yourself, you know, and you're waiting for the attack to happen, that's, that's when your mind starts wandering. There's this sense now that our technology, our you know, drone warfare, guided missiles, that they in some way inoculate us to the ageless nature of war and the brutality of it. And they don't. Take every step like your life depends on it. Because for us, it did. After action report, damn. That's crazy, man. It's a lot of, uh, very intense. I, yeah, I can't imagine. I don't talk about it often, but I was in the Army Reserves for about six years. I was a 31 Echo Erections Detention Specialist. And I, I did serve with a lot of people that went to Afghanistan in, like, 2010. Uh, but then my, my unit I was in never got deployed while I was serving in the reserves. A few years later, they went to Guantanamo, Guantanamo Bay, since that's literally our job. Or was our job. But yeah, it's uh, crazy. I have heard some stories and stuff from people that were there, but this is way, way beyond uh, anything I would have probably ever experienced, or most of them do. But yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Get back to the main menu. I believe that that was the only two missions that they have currently available. They do, like I said, they have the procedural missions. Yeah, you can see here. So, and I lost my mouse again. Okay. Got Northern Train Station, Apartment Building, Phase Line, Henry Dolan's Public Square, Dolan Amusement Park, Objective Virginia, West Manor, and HLZ Wolf. Okay. So, yeah, there's a decent amount here. I wonder if those are just, like, in place for, like, they're still developing the story missions, but then you have these that keep you busy in the meantime. Oh, it actually gives you photo credit, too. Lucy and Reed, Department of Defense. That's interesting. All right, well... That is going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, again, leaving likes helps a ton. Uh, this game is pretty crazy. I, I mean, it's pretty... I, I know there's been a lot of info about it for years and years now. And I'll be keeping an eye on any updates. I may go ahead and jump into some procedural generated missions uh, in the next video. If not, though, we'll keep an eye out on any campaign missions. I'm going to monitor this, see how this video does. So again... That goes back to that. If you did enjoy it, leave in likes because it helps a ton. It lets me know what to continue playing, what not to play, uh, and everything else. So, And maybe we'll go back to Ready or Not soon because this kind of has made me want to go back to that or even a little bit of Squad. I don't know. I'm always uh, looking forward to playing more FPS tactical games. So for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.